Converge or diverge, sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, n factorial over e to the n squared power. We have the factorial and we have the n in the exponent, so of course, let's use the ratio test. And name it ready, it's done right here for you guys. We will use the ratio test, and then for the ratio test, we check the limit as n goes to infinity, and we work this out. We have to work out the absolute value of a n plus 1 times 1 over a n to see what this is turn out to be. So let's get to work. Let's put down check as n goes to infinity, and let me write down the absolute value first. Absolute value. For the a n plus 1, we look at this and replace all the n with n plus 1. On the top, we have n plus 1 in a parentheses and then factorial. On the bottom, we replace this n with n plus 1. So we will have e, and then this is the n plus 1 now, right? And then we are just going to put a parentheses around this and then square that, like that. All right, and then we multiply by 1 over a n, which is just the reciprocal of this. So we multiply by e to the n squared power over n factorial on the bottom, like this. So this is the setup, and now here is the simplification. Look at this part, n plus 1 factorial, break this apart. This is going to be n plus 1, we put down whatever we have in the parentheses first. And then the next factor is going to be n, we go one less. And then we will have n minus 1, n minus 2, and so on. But all this is just n factorial. This n factorial and this n factorial cancel each other out. That's very nice. And now, let's see how can we simplify this. Well, this is n plus 1 squared. We can work this out. So this is the same as e, and then n plus 1 squared is the same as n squared plus 2n plus 1. And because of the rule of exponent, we can break this apart. And let me just do it this way. I'm going to break this apart as e to the n squared times e to the 2n plus 1. I just want to break this apart like this. And the reason I want to do just this is so that e to the n squared will cancel with that e to the n squared. Okay, now on the top, we just have n plus 1. On the bottom, we just have e to the 2n plus 1. So, this is what we have. Do we still need the absolute value? No, we don't, because everything here is positive. And now, as n is approaching to infinity, you see that on the top, it's just infinity. On the bottom, we have e to the infinity, so it's also infinity. This is an infinity over infinity situation. To draw a conclusion, you can call the list, but then I would like to show you the L'Hopital's rule real quick right here. So I will have to use L'Hopital's rule. Means I have to first change the expression to x because we want to talk about functions and derivatives. As x approaching to infinity, let's look at x plus 1 over e to the 2x plus 1. To use L'Hopital's rule, we take the derivative on the top and then we take the derivative on the bottom. So this is going to be the same as it approaches to the derivative of x plus 1. It's just 1. 1 on the top. Over, what's the derivative of this? e to the something is just always e to the something to begin with, right? For the derivative. But then you look at here. The derivative of 2x plus 1 is 2. So we multiply by 2. And as x is approaching to infinity, we plug infinity into here. So we know this is going to be e to the infinity, which is infinity, times 2, still infinity. On the top, it's just 1. On the bottom, it's infinity. So of course, everything turns out to be approaching to 0. So supply this somewhere on your paper, because we did the L'Hopital's rule. So we can go back here and say that this approaching to 0, right? This right here, approach to 0. We show the work right here. Zero, when we are doing the ratio test, is this useful? Yes, it is. This is less than 1. And when we have a ratio test, if the limit turns out to be less than 1, that's good, because we can say the original converges. So 
there will be the conclusion. The original series, so let me write it down, sigma for n goes from 1 to infinity, n factorial over e to the n square, this right here converges by the ratio test. That's it.